Facebook is facing new controversy today after admitting to data sharing partnerships with at least four Chinese tech companies, including one that was flagged by U.S. intelligence agencies. The New York Times reports that the deals date back to 2010 and gave, quote, private access to some user data. Huawei, which is one of the Chinese companies involved, is the world's third largest phone maker. But some U.S. intel agencies have called the business a national security threat. The firm says that it never collected or stored Facebook user data. Ian Schur is the executive editor of CNET News. He joins us now from San Francisco. Okay, Ian, let's start with this American intelligence officers who have flagged this company. Why exactly is this a national security threat? You know, a lot of the concern comes down to the Chinese government's ties to the company. Uh, there's these broader concerns that there is telecommunication snooping happening. And this is not the first time we've heard this type of thing. Uh, you may have also remembered that the uh, there were stories that came out that the federal government is looking into even building its own wireless networks because they're really worried about how much information could be captured. And a lot of this has already been done by our own government, right? They, the Edward Snowden leaks taught us a lot about how how capture happens in the networks. And so this extends now to uh, people like the Chinese companies who are both our friends and our rivals. So Ian, why exactly is this company considered to be an extension of the Chinese government? A lot of it comes down to how the Chinese uh, marketplace operates, right? The Chinese government has close ties to a lot of the local companies there. And if you remember, one of the ongoing conversations that's happening on Capitol Hill is around IP, right? And the idea that when an American company comes to China, they have to uh, do tra technology transfer and they need to um, give access to their uh, intellectual property and all that. All of this stuff plays into these types of concerns. And Huawei, while we don't know a lot of specifics, um, seems to be one that's become especially especially a focus of the government's concern. So officials will be investigating whether Huawei broke trade regulations. What might those regulations be and what role do they play in all of this? Well, you remember that there was uh, the, the the sanctions against Iran and a bunch of other countries like that. And you remember that ZTE, which is one of the other Chinese phone makers that's really large, had broke those types of rules, selling these devices to uh, Iran and whatnot and using an American parts in them. So this is very much in the same vein. It, it, did these types of things happen? Is Huawei the next ZTE in this respect? And is there concern that, you know, while Americans have uh, you know, sanctions against Iran and we aren't selling stuff directly to them. Is it happening indirectly? And that that's another thread of this whole conversation. And this is really just the latest scandal to plague Facebook. Do you get the sense what really, Ian, is the issue here? Is this a security problem or is this a PR issue? I think it's a little bit of both. Uh, part of the problem here is that Facebook, uh, to a lot of people's perspective, was lackadaisical uh, and, and didn't take enough control of how privacy and, and user data was handled. Uh, we're talking about uh, up to 87 million people's information was leaked through Cambridge Analytica, uh, improper usage of data and all that. And look, a lot of the stuff was um, Facebook being taken advantage of, but the mistake they made on top of threatening to sue uh, journalists who were trying to make this stuff public is that they didn't follow up. They didn't make sure that the stuff was safely handled. And once they found out about it, it seems that they took a lackadaisical approach. And that is why they are under so much pressure now. Ian Schur, grateful you could join us, Ian. Thank you for your time. My pleasure.